Hello and welcome, I'm your CodeMonkey, and here is yet another excellent Unity Humble Bundle. There's already the excellent Tools Bundle that I launched last week, I highly recommend that one regardless of whatever game you're working on, and now we have this one all about art, but also includes some very interesting art tools and a bunch of sound effects. Now since this bundle is mainly about visuals, it really depends on if your style matches what you're using for your game, although since the bundle discount is so deep at 98% off, if just one of these looks interesting then the whole bundle is worth it. I already have about half of these assets here, but since the discount is so deep, I'm just going to pick it up for the rest. There's some really interesting tools here. So let's take a quick look at everything included. Starting off over here with Quibbly, Anime Shaders and Tools. This one looks pretty great. I've had it for quite some time and I've been meaning to look into it. If your game has an anime cell shaded look, then this one is excellent. It's a collection of shaders and a bunch of tools to make foliage and power lines. For me, I really like the cell shaded look, so maybe now is the time for me to finally dive deep into this one. Then we have Polygon Dungeons. This one is made by Sinti with their signature style. This one is a pack with over 700 objects, all to create dungeons. It includes tons of modular parts, as well as 16 characters. So this one looks great for making any kind of dungeon crawler game. One thing that I would love to experiment would be using these Sinti assets with the equivalent anime shaders. I think that could make for a really interesting look. Then we have the Total Music Collection. This one includes over 800 tracks. Some are perfect loops, some are short, and some are alternative versions. If you don't have any collections of music, then a pack like this one can be extremely useful. Then over here we've got a Monsters pack. The more interesting part about this one is that it includes evolutions. So you've got one Sage, another one, and another one. So if you've ever wanted to make your own Pokemon type game, then this pack would be a great starting point. After that we have yet another sound pack. This one is also massive, almost 10,000 sound effects, so again, just a great general pack to have. Then for a very realistic forest environment, this one is super detailed, you've got lots of trees, grass, a bunch of flowers, ground textures and some more, everything looks really nice, really realistic. Then it's an interesting tool for helping you make your characters bounce, so this one is pretty great for making your characters and objects look quite a bit more jiggly, so this looks like an excellent tool to add that extra bit of polish to your game. Then if you want a forest environment, but this time in a cartoony style, look at this one. I think this one looks really great, really awesome, really calming, everything looks gorgeous. So looking at this one definitely makes me want to use this demo scene in some kind of future tutorial environment. After that is another interesting tool to make your game visually unique. This one takes your regular 3D objects and makes them look like pixel art. You've got lots of parameters to control the amount of pixelization, the outline color, lights and a bunch more. The end result definitely makes it for a very interesting look. Now this one is a real-time post-processing effect, so it's a bit different from another similar tool that we're going to see in a bit. Then over here we have some realistic forest animals. These are super high quality, both models and textures, so I could see this pack being quite useful for some kind of hunting game. Then we have a party monster pack. This one is very colorful, so it would be great for making a game kind of like Fall Guys. They have customizable body parts and weapons, so you can create infinite variation. Up next is a very realistic, very high quality temple. This one looks extremely nice, really gorgeous assets. Everything is really nice and modular, so if your game is inspired by Tomb Raider or Uncharted, then this would be the perfect pack. Then we have two packs with cute animals, featuring a very cute art style and also including animations. Both packs have 90 animals, so this one would be great if you're making some kind of zoo tycoon game. If your game has any underwater sections, then this one can be very helpful. Making an underwater scene look like it's actually underwater is actually pretty complex, so an effect like this one can definitely save you a ton of time, and as you can see, it looks great. After that, we have another sound spec. This one's all about monsters. It includes many creature sounds, so it has zombies, insects, ghosts, demons, orcs, and a bunch more. Then the character created 2D. It's a pretty nice sound on the characters. It's a 2D, very clean art sound. All of the body parts are separated for some easy animation. So with this level of customization, you could definitely use this pack for all your characters. Then we have another tool. This one is Magical Cloth. This is another one that I've seen many, many times on the Accessor, but never really looked into it. Basically allows you to add physics simulation to a bunch of objects. Now obviously that's great for cloth, but also for hair, maybe a tail. Really works on anything that drapes down. Then over here, a bit of a strange one. Strange because of scale, so over here you have thousands of footsteps sound effects. I have no idea how it's possible to have over a thousand sounds for surfaces and all kinds of ways to step on it, but apparently here it is. Next is the basic motions pack. Now I really like this one. I've used it in a few videos, including one that I recorded just a while ago. 
It's a bunch of generic motions, so they are useful for pretty much any project. Of course, you have basic movement, but then also some more unique things. You've got some talking animations, some sitting animations. You've got a victory, hand wave, looting something, and a bunch more. So this one is definitely a great pack to use in all your prototypes. Next up is the birds pack. They've got a really nice, very realistic art style. They all have animations included, so this would be a great pack to add a bit more life to your world. Next up here we have some cute dragons. These remind me of Skylanders, or I guess maybe just Spyro. Definitely a very cute art style with tons of animations. Then is the other pixelate tool that I mentioned a while ago. Now the difference is the other one is a post-processing effect, whereas this one takes a character and an animation and generates a sprite sheet. So the end result is a pure 2D character, and they also mentioned they have a custom 2D shader that makes it work with lighting, so this is another one that I'd like to look into in more detail. Next up is the map graph. This one is a tool for helping you make tile-based maps. So this would be perfect if you're making some kind of old school RPG, but it also works with game objects and prefabs, so you can also use it to make 3D maps. Next up over here, a great looking VFX bundle. Features lots of effects and all of them look pretty great. You've got everything from some basic projectiles to some auras. You've got some defenses, some AOEs. There's tons of variety. Then we have a snow and ice shader. This one has a very interesting effect, so this would be great if you have some kind of snow map in your game. You can use this to make your character's movement through the environment feel much, much better. And finally over here, a simple but very useful tool. This one helps you take a texture and make it seamless. For me, every time I draw a texture, it's always a pain to make it seamless, to copy the left side to the right side and so on. So this simple tool looks definitely excellent to me. All right, so that's a bundle. Now, some of these assets are only useful if it matches your style, but actually a lot of the art tools included here would be great in pretty much any project. So that, coupled with the extremely deep discount at 98% off, makes this pack very likely worth it. For me, I already have quite a lot of these, but I'm probably going to get it just to get the rest. And just in case you missed last week's video, there's also an excellent tool bundle going on. These humble bundles with massive discounts only happen about once or twice per year, so definitely don't miss out on them. Both are linked in the description, and those are affiliate links, so if you pick it up, you get some awesome tools and assets, and I get a nice commission. Alright, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.